Mission data production explained. The process starts with the collection of source data, which can be collected from a variety of sources, including collection assets and open source information. This data is then stored in a data store, which contains both pre-analyzed source data and data that has been enhanced by analysis and post-mission feedback. Future development will allow data stores to be accessed by enabled systems and platforms directly via a secure cloud. The data search function provides the ability to catalog what data you have and what data you need and identify the missing pieces. Machine learning can automatically flag up when relevant source data becomes available. Modeling is a vital tool for predicting system or emitter characteristics. Following use on operations, models are regularly updated to reflect post-mission analysis. The majority of mission data products will be specific to where they will be used in the world, so relation and context is important. As different geographical areas have different indigenous emitters, tactics and political influences, it is necessary to relate analysed data both geographically and contextually. We then move on to the production of mission data for a specific platform or system. The start of bespoke mission data production involves extracting analysed and geographically related data and matching it with the end user's requirements. The next stage is build, where a specified mission data product is produced in a specific or colourised output format compatible with the recipient system or platform. Robust, accurate and increasingly automated mission data testing is conducted against realistic and relevant threat simulations prior to release, which provides vital assurance to the end user. This utilises hardware in the loop testing, but increasingly, and more cost effectively, software in the loop testing, which can keep pace with technological advancements. Using mission data on live multi-domain air, land and maritime operations tests the true performance of a product and provides vital feedback on emitter model performance and the analytical processes used to create them. Platform interoperability allows sharing of mission data and updates live on joint operations. An effective feedback loop is critically important to producing high quality mission data and has three components. Firstly, either on mission or post mission analysis, which allows mission data to be updated and improved in hours, not days making an immediate difference and ensuring an ongoing operational advantage. Secondly, formalising the need for feedback in policy underpins the ability of mission data to be improved at a rate of, or ahead of, technological advancements, thus bringing about a potentially critical information advantage. And finally, product and model refinement, where mission data production centres and models are optimised to take account of feedback. This is as much about relationship management and alignment with operational communities as it is about technological compatibility and common data formats.